What's good y'all, it's Noble. Today I'm gonna be breaking down a sample I made with my boy LC. The sample is almost a mix of some orchestral and Kanye type shit. It's got both going at the same time. But yeah, I just wanna keep it straight to the point. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. All right, so before I break it down, I'm gonna go ahead and play what the final sample sounds like. Crazy. So going forward, you're gonna hear everything two semitones up because I use something to pitch it down in the final sample. All right, so this is the starter that my boy LC sent me. Not bad, but it's just got some things that need to be removed. So whenever I'm working with a starter like that, I always like to solo out each element and put them on their own mixer tracks. And once I had that, I was able to do a little bit of my own mixing and make it sound more cohesive. So with the strings, there's actually two notes that I really didn't like how they sounded. You'll be able to hear when I play which ones I'm talking about. And to fix that, I just created a volume automation clip. Those two right there. And they repeat. Much better. I then did the same thing with the bass and just chopped it to make the notes the same. I put a little reverb on the violin to make it stand out less. So the first sound of my own that I added was from Steven and Vicus's one shot kit. With no effects and no volume automation, this is what it sounded like. But with some thermal reverb and an automation, it turned into more of like a flutter with distortion. The next thing I did was sample myself. I pulled the one of my October starters that sounds like this. And from there, I just pitched it down 800 cents and repeated it with an automation to make it have more bounce. For example, with no automation, this is what it sounds like. But with the automation, this is what you get. So the next section of the sample is all about textures and perk loops. I'm gonna play them all at once so you can kind of get a feel for the bounce and then break down why I chose each element that I did. The first is a texture that I made by combining three different textures. Then I have a perk loop that I made by combining one of Piso's perk loops and a bunch of accents from Steven and Vicus's kit. I wanted that snare hit to have a little bit more pitch to it, so I added this. Then I've got this drum loop from Vicus that I had to pitch around a lot. The first section I pitched up 600 and the second's up 800. Both of those sound like this. And to tie all that together, I have this distorted kind of transition sound. The next thing I did was take this accent from XY Nothing's Avant Garde kit and make it sound like this. So obviously first I pitched and reversed it. And as for effects, what's doing most of the heavy lifting is the burnt tongue preset and thermal. Real quick, man, if you're a sample maker and you don't have thermal, you are missing out heavy. Same goes for portal, but especially for thermal. This plugin is crazy. It transforms sounds in a way that I do not see a lot of other plugins doing. And there's so many presets to pick from. Next thing I added was a note from the Kinetic Treats Bank from Contact. In my opinion, the best way to use this bank is to turn the synth volume all the way down and make sure the motion is on. Rendered out, that sounds like this. From here, I loaded up Albion 1 in contact and went straight to the cold Legno preset. The way to get the best sound out of this bank is to really utilize velocities. It's going to make it sound much more dynamic and real. For example, you'll be able to hear I have this little triplet lead into each hit. Without utilizing velocities, that would have sounded like this. Not nearly as realistic. So from here, I wanted to add my own bass. So I went back into that Steven and Vikas kit and found this bass called Think. I'm going to play what it sounds like with no effects first. You can see how much work the effects are really doing. It sounds really basic, not interesting at all. And then with effects. Crazy. 
And what's really carrying the effects here is this rhythm stomp preset and thermal. And also real quick, don't forget to take advantage of the natural EQ that FL Studio gives you. It's in the bottom right right here. So yeah, since this is a bass, I just turn the lows up a little bit and the highs down a little bit. So for the third section of the sample, I added this vocal chop that sounded like this originally. For reference, that's from XY's Cactus One Shot Kit. And this is what it sounded like when I was done processing. And here's what that sounds like with everything. So last thing I did with this sample is a little bit my own sauce. I don't do this all the time, but it always sounds really good when I do. It's a trick that engineers commonly do with vocals to create a reverse. You take the first syllable, or in this case, the first little hit from a sound, and then just cut it up, put some reverb on your master, and then render that out, pitch it down an octave, reverse it, and add a volume automation. Crazy. From there, just make sure to add some sketch set on the master. Then add this sound shifter from Waves to pitch it down too. I would highly recommend getting this right now because we're doing a Black Friday deal. And I think I got this for like 30 bucks. But yeah, here's what it sounds like with no master effects. And with the master effects. Crazy. That's going to be better for the video, y'all. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like and also subscribe because it does help out the channel a lot. And make sure to leave some comments down below what you thought about the video and what you want to see next. Yeah, man, make sure to go follow my Instagram at proud.noble and I'm out of here.